In this video, I'm going to have a look at the different plans for Genially. So the difference between a free account, a pro account or a master account to help choose which one is the most suitable for you. I'm going to look at it mainly from the perspective of a teacher. So I'm looking mainly at the education pro account as opposed to the free account. So first of all, I'd like to say you can do a lot with a free account. You can have unlimited creations, unlike some other websites where you can only create maybe five things. And you can have as many people looking at your presentation as you want. So there are no uh, limit there. So I would definitely recommend that you start with a free account. And then if you think that you're going to use Genially more and you want to use more of the templates and more of the functionality, then you could have a look at the pro account. And I'm going to show you what the difference is. The first one are the templates. There are lots of great presentations and other templates for Genially. For teachers, the gamification section is probably the most interesting because compared to PowerPoint, the great thing about Genially is that it is more interactive and it's great to have an interactive quiz or an escape room in your presentation. So if you have the free account, you do get quite a lot. So these are all the free quizzes and then there are also uh, five escape room games. But if I go to the premium ones, you can see that there are a lot more. So here, all the ones that have this gray star, these are all the premium ones. So a lot more, and especially when it comes to games and breakout, you have a lot more different choices here, which is great. And I mean, even if you like doing your own presentations, these templates are a great starting point to learn how to use the different animations in Genial with good effect. And also it gives you a lot of different designs and ideas for your breakout game. But again, you can use a lot of design features in the free version. So if you think you're not going to use the templates, then that's probably not such a selling point for you. The second big advantage of having an educational pro account is the layer and element tool, which you see over here, which if you have a paid account, you can just turn it on by clicking control M and then it appears. So this helps you to design your activities more easily. So for example, um, you can see all the layers that are on the slide and it makes it much easier to change the layerings. So for example, if I've got this gray circle here, and I want the text to be on top of it. So I can see here that is the top layer and I can just drag it down and then the text will be on top. So this is quite good if you have more complex designs, for example, for an escape game where you want things to be hidden, for example. And I can also do other things in here, like I can make things invisible, um, which means that even though they're invisible now, I uh, if I go into presentation mode, they are still there. And this is uh, super useful if you're doing something more complex because you can hide a top layer while you're working on a layer underneath, for example, which is great. Um, you can also make things movable on here or you can lock them into place. So the circle here is locked in place now. So it makes it easier for me to move other things on top of it. You can do these things with a free account as well. So you can still make things movable and lock them. Um, just by clicking on your object. So really mainly for the layers, it's quite good. Even though, again, with a free account, you can still change the layers if you just go up here to the layering tool, but it is much harder to find exactly the right place because you can just go either to the very top, the very bottom, or go one layer up or one layer down. So it just takes a bit longer to get it in the right place. Another good thing with this uh, design element here is you can choose an exact position of something and a, an exact size. So for example, if you have got two objects and you want them the same size, like here, let's say I want the big picture to be the same size as this one. I could copy the size from this one. So I just take the width here, I copy it, go over to the other element and, and put it in here. Now 
it is exactly the same size as the one, other one, which is really useful. And I can also have a certain position. So for example, if on all my slides, I want this in this position, I could just copy it here and then um, apply it to something else as well. So let's say I want all of them to the side here and so on. So it gives you just a bit more control of your presentation. The third thing that you get with a pro account, which a lot of teachers will appreciate, are folders because if you start making loads of presentations you end up with quite a big list and you can always search for them by name but I really like having the folders and you can see here I've sorted them by subject and by year group and I can just then go in and find all my year nine presentations in here which is really useful and as you can see you can even put little symbols next to it to make it look nice as well. The fourth thing you can do is you can import a PowerPoint. So if I just show you, so let's say you've worked with lots of PowerPoints in the past and you now want to turn them into Genially presentations to make them more interactive, for example, or make them easier to use online. So here's my, my example one, little presentation and with uh, some pictures and I have imported it. The good thing about importing it as opposed to just um, taking screenshots, is that it will import all the elements individually. So if I go in here, you can see it has imported the text boxes individually. So it means I can go into the text and still change it, which is good. So it's not just a picture of the PowerPoint, but you can also see that a lot of the layout has been lost. So for example, here, this red box, the writing is way too big. So you still need to do a lot of editing work to then make it look good again and some of the pictures have also not been imported properly like my title picture here or my picture here is just has this empty box and it doesn't really show um, the pictures on there so it is good to transfer your powerpoints but it isn't flawless and it would also not import any um, animations that you have in powerpoint so you would still have to add them all individually. Another thing you can do is you can download your presentation now. So if you want to share it as a PDF or as a JPEG, um, so for example, because you want to print it out, you can do that. So with this presentation, I could go in here, then I can download it. So I can download it as a PDF or an image or still as a website, but it can then be viewed offline, which might be quite good if your students are on data connection and they don't want to use it up. So here you can see what it looks like as a PDF, um, but obviously again, it doesn't have any animations and so on in it. It's just a, a printout of your presentation basically. When you have a educational account, it gives you more options about sharing and keeping your presentations private as well. So um, if I've got a pro account, I can go here into preferences and privacy. And with a free account, you only get the left hand side. So all your presentations will automatically be public online while you can choose to keep them private if you've got a paid for account. And you can even protect them with a password if you want to. So this might be good if you don't want people to be able to find your presentation by searching genially or by searching online. Another good thing is that if you have a free account, you can record audio and add it to your presentation. But if you have a paid for account, you can also drop audio files. So if you've already got a recording, for example, on your Google Drive or on your on your computer, you can import them here. And there are lots of websites where you can download um, sound effects or free music. Um, so there are a lot of things you can add and you can either add it to just one presentation or if you add it up here to add background audio, it will play all throughout your presentation. The last thing, which for me, because I'm a language teacher, is not so useful. Uh, if you have a paid account, then you get a few more of these um, graphs here. So you can see some of them have this gray star. So these graphs down here, they are only in the paid for version. But then again, you do get a lot of useful ones with a free version, like these ones here where you can add a table 
um, and a bar graph here and so on. So the last thing I want to show you is what a master account does. So a master account is a lot more expensive. An education account costs uh, about £60 a year. So I'm in the UK, so it's in pound. A master account will cost about £250 a year. And I would say this is really aimed more for uh, business companies. So I think for teachers, it is not really that useful. I've got a master account because I'm a genially ambassador, but basically what it allows me is to customize my the look of my presentations a bit more. Uh, what that means is I can take out the genially logo, that's this logo that's normally in the bottom left corner, and I can replace it with my own logo here. I can also set up my own colors and my own font and my own background and so on. But I think this makes more sense if you have an actual brand that you're selling and um, you want all your presentations to look similar and to use uh, similar colors. And so for, for teachers, I definitely think it's not necessarily worth it. But an EDU account is pretty useful. It gives you more freedom to design your presentations and it gives you a lot more uh, templates.